In the previous exercise, we looked at bringing in a linked floor plan and creating building grids. In this exercise, we're going to link in the elevations to our building and create some building levels. If you're managing to follow this through, then that's great. If not, you can go to the Chapter 4 folder Project Files and open Chapter 4.1 01 Level 1. In here, I'm going to look in the Project Browser and open the view East. Here you can see the building grids that we created earlier and the two levels that already exist in the project. From the Insert tab, click on Link CAD. Go to the Chapter 4 DWG folder and select the east elevation. Once again, I'll check the settings. This time I want to ensure that this is coming in center to center, as I will need to move this drawing around. Click on Open, and we now have the elevation linked into our elevation view. I'm just going to highlight it and drag it, just so I can see everything that's going on behind. And the first thing I want to do with these grids is stretch them so that they approximate the height of the building. Now I'm going to use the Align tool from the Modify tab. Click on Align. I'm going to start with the level, which is Level 1, and then find Level 1 on the DWG. I'm then going to align the elevation to match the building grids. That's from the DWG. There's my grid 6, and I'll align the drawing again. I'll also want to make sure that level 2 now matches the level 2 in the DWG. So this time, I'll select the drawing file first, and then my level. My next task is to finish creating the levels. So again, from the Architects tab, I'm going to create Building Level. Once more, I'm going to use the Pick Lines option, and I'm going to select Levels 3, the Roof, and the Parapet. There I have Level 3. Looking at the Roof, this is called Level 4, so let's rename that to Roof. Would I like to rename the corresponding views? Yes, I'd like them all to be the same. And finally, the parapets. And I'll also rename this view as well. Let's take a quick look at this in 3D. From the Quick Access Toolbar, click on the default 3D icon. Here we can see that the elevation has actually ended up in the middle of the building. So I'm going to open level 1 and use the Align tool to align it with the edge of the building. Back to my 3D view, and this looks better already. Let's repeat that for the other views. I'll start with North. First of all, let's drag those grid lines. Select one of the grids and drag using this little empty blue circle vertically. I could also do the same for the levels and drag those across to the far right hand side of the building. From the Insert tab, click on Link CAD, select my north elevation, check the settings, and click on Open. We'll go through that align process again. Click on Modify. Click on Align, select my grid, and the DWG. Then the level, and the appropriate level in the drawing file. Go to the 3D view, and here's my elevation. So let's move that in plan. This time I'm going to move this elevation. I'll select the Move command. Click on a point, and then just make sure that we're moving this vertically. Let's go to the south elevation. 
here we can still see the north. So I'm going to right click on this and hide this category in the view just while I go through the import process. Back to the insert tab, link CAD. We'll grab the south one this time. Check my settings, click on open. And back to the modify align tools for the grid and the drawing and the level and the drawing. Let's go back to the floor plan and we'll move the south elevation. Use the same process by selecting it and clicking on move and we'll move it to an appropriate location. Finally, we'll go for the west. In here I'll select the east drawing and hide it by right clicking, clicking on hide category. Right now my building levels in the west elevation are looking a little messy. So I'm going to right click on this and then click on maximize to 3D extents, which then brings it in line with the other levels. So back to the insert tab, click on link CAD, click on west, check those settings, click on open and align it into place. Start with the level. and the grid.